Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we're going back to the landing zone alpha because, you know, we didn't have a better name for it. Last time we bailed ourselves a quite a nice little base here, fully sustainable at least for the beginning of the interim whilst we still have some excellent fruit to be eating. We got our little farms on the go, but as well as getting millwood as we normally do, we realise that there is no algae in this map, so we will not be able to make oxygen in the normal way but we have these things called oxy ferns and they seem to be producing a fair amount of oxygen over here but we do have a situation where they are being caught in the corner so I'm going to dig that out. The next plan for today is of course to get on with the ranching. Yes indeed we've got this whole open area to the left here and we've got like hatches and uh, shine bugs and whatever this pip is, not that pip but this pip over here. These are things that I wish to, um, to trap. <laughs> to, not really to trap but to uh, put into rooms so that we can make use of them. So we're going to start today off by going around and making the little space over here. But also, we've got this arbitrary. It's a new thing. I don't know what it's actually about. But it tells us that we can up, uh, we can harvest it for lumber. And I'm like, lumber? What do you mean lumber? And indeed, industrial ingredient. There we go, lumber. I have no idea what that's for, but we will definitely be making a farm at some point. I hear it's actually what the pips prefer to be playing with so maybe we can do something about that at some point we've got to seal this off and we've got to try and keep as many of the shine bugs and such forth in here as we can we're trying to keep the shine bugs on the left hand side here because they keep on interfering with our duplicate sleeping patterns this person in particular is causing us some trouble so i'd like to get a couple of stables on the go over here but of course for us to be able to do that we need to get into the research station and i'm going to start with the meal preparation and most of the critter stuff that you can see is over this end and and that was going to require us to get a fair amount of research on the go, particularly getting the advanced research on the go. This is going to be the next step for us once we've actually got this meal preparation stuff. Because whilst it is great to go around and have ranching, I would like to be able to put down a mess hall so that our dudes can have a little bit of uh, extra niceness when they are getting their foods. One of the other things that I want to do today is get my explore on. We do, of course, want to go off and around this whole rock to see the whole thing. Now, I have uh, looked up this rust inside the the database here and you can see that we can it is useful with some oxygen production processes indeed if we go to the research and then come down to air systems down here you can see that the rusty oxidizer converts rust into oxygen and chlorine don't know what i'm going to do with the chlorine but i could really do with that oxygen because as good as these are they're not really filling my base with oxygen right now oh look at all this sort of diffusing out from this way nice Mad Frank fell asleep on the floor. Why would you fill on the f fall asleep on the floor? You've got a bed over here. In fact, you've got a bed here. But wh why would that be a thing? Also, we're going to have to kill that shine bug. Ah, causing the hassles. Oh, and of course, the other thing that we were supposed to do yesterday, but for some reason, just totally didn't talk about it, was to come in here and try and get into this little area over here. I'm not sure if we need to actually provide power or not, but once all this stuff has been dug out, we will definitely be coming back here. By the looks of it, all we need to do is just put... Um, put duplicates on each of them. And that shouldn't be too hard. So that'll give us access to the neural vacuate. And we are going to turn misaligned, I think, into a super being. Okay, so we've got the oxy ferns down the bottom, but we are definitely going to be running out of food at some point. Now, the uh, millwood is generally my go-to. But we have, don't have much water here, as we've spoken of in the past. So I need to get off of Millwood as soon as possible. I don't see any mushrooms around, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to transition to mushrooms. Well, there is a bunch of pincher pepper. Uh, the excellent fruit still doing very well. And I'm not sure what this is all about. Is it um, salt vine? Hmm, maybe. It turns, yeah, it turns out we can get some salt. But salt, salt is a flavor enhancer, not a food unto itself. So I was saying one of the things that I wanted to do is explore. We've got this water up here and then a little bit further up we've got this other thing that I actually have no idea what it is. It looks to be like some sort of hydroponic farm tiles, stuff like that. That sounds like we want to go exploring upwards. And let's be honest, when we logged in, it was like, hey, you're supposed to go to the surface for, for this terraforming business, right? For this colonization business. Uh, so we're going to go to the surface. Maybe we'll let all the water in at the same time. That would actually kind of work all right for us if we kind of just let it all drop down what wouldn't work is if it got underneath the base so yeah let's let's drop the water down when we can down and into here so that we can then just basically mop it up and use it as a resource 
Luna coming along to plant the first niceness plant. A little bit of a furnish on the go here. That's nice. The body temperature and pressure is a problem. So the air pressure isn't too much of a problem. But the temperature, it prefers a warmer body temperature than what we currently have. Oh, it is, it is warming up though. That's definitely within the 20 degrees. I wonder why that's not doing that. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Always nice to have a nice little bit of furniture around. Let's see what that's done on the decor. I mean, it's done, done something, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go around with my priority tool and just make this path going up here just a little bit higher priority than all the other digging and building jobs. I think actually, yeah, uh, good. thankfully, Mr. Lion is coming along and doing the important job. Uh, let's do that as seven then. Okay, so this is just building, so the seven should get overdone pretty quickly. And then over here, these are all sixes, so after the major jobs get done, we can then start digging our way up. What is the problem here, growth hole? It, it, there's not enough carbon dioxide, are you kidding me? There is not enough carbon dioxide. Oh, this is one of the small boulders that came from the world generation. You end up with a whole load of obsidian kind of like just entering in here in a, in a great big lump. That's going to be hard to get through. We've done some research. What research have we done is, of course, things like the mess table. We want five of these. One, two, three, four, and five. Plenty of room for everyone. And then down here, we need an egg cracker as well, because we're going to just keep on cracking eggs as and when we can. I'm not sure where. This is a utility line? No, this is line of use. So let's put it somewhere near here. Uh, maybe we'll make this the kitchen. Then we have... Um, the stables on this side, farms down here. Yeah, yeah, it kind of kind of feels like it's working to me. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. No need to wash our hands going in both directions. Let's just set it to left, and then they only wash their hands when they've dealt with the icky stuff, right? Good work. So with the research done up here on the... Let's come up to the meal preparation. I've put the egg cracker down. I've put the bunch of mess tables. Got to get an electric grill down somewhere. But further down here, we have the pressure management tile. There we go. I want to get all the way along to the airflow tile because there's a few situations where I want that. In particular, down here, I want an airflow tile here. I want one here, here, here. Because this is where all our carbon dioxide get, uh, builds up. And I would like it all to drop down to our... Uh, oxygen producing plants down the bottom because that would be super super helpful right that's it we've got enough shine bugs around and this guy is just causing us hassle we're going to say combat i don't know who's going to get to the combat but we're going to say combat and we're going to see who actually gets around to fighting him because look look at all the shine bugs we've got over here we can just make it in fact this is too many to even make a stables is this overcrowding does he say he's overcrowded no he's sleeping he's happy uh wild animals only make one egg per lifetime I want to correct that and make them uh, groomed animals, tame animals is the word I'm looking for, where they produce 16 eggs in a lifetime. It's quite a difference and that's why I'm going for it. Okay, so the mush bar consumes 75 kilograms of water per, per unit. No, I'm not going to go with that. 50 kilograms per water per unit. It's still quite high, but it's uh, 25 kilograms less right so that that should help us out and when these guys get grown we can get some food because you can see that i mean the hexa fruit still doing the excellent fruit sorry still doing very well but not quite where we're at i also want to get down here come on guys let's do this dig i know what the problem is is i made this dig much more a uh, high priority but now that i've gone along and tweaked the priorities they should be along very very shortly hopefully and access is ours. Nice. Cool. Through we go. Let's try and build all these ladders again on the super high priority because that's what actually needs to happen there, right? Colony achievement has been earned. Which one was it, though? Let's have a look. Outdoor rendezvous. Construct a building outside the initial starting biome. Sweet. Did I do that? Must be a ladder. Must be a ladder. Also, incidentally, guys, somewhere down here we had the red light, green light, and I was like, no, I've not built any automation. But, like, all this counts, right? Which I, um... I disagree with. I didn't build any of this. It just happened to be in my base. So if maybe they need to change the trigger uh, from it being there to it being built. That that would be great. I'd feel a lot better about that. I would feel a super lot better about that. Waiting for Mr. Lion to come along and do all of these builds so that we can then start telling duplicates to come along and stand on these. We're going to need three duplicates. Thankfully, we've got four of them. And uh, indeed, in point four cycles, we'll have another one. We're going to be looking for someone who is either a rancher or a digger. Hopefully both. Uh, but we need the rancher for ranching, obviously. And then the digger, I'm going to uh, turn into like the only only explorer of the lot. Look at that, more water up there. Really need to get up ethanol. 
that's not water. Okay, ladders have been achieved. Let's get you misaligned. Could you move to this one over here? Let's get Mad Frank. Could you move to over here? And let's get Luna. And can you move to here? And we'll see what happens. Hopefully, they're going to stand there for long enough. These two are definitely going to arrive at the same time. But Luna, we might need to tell to stand back there. I don't know if there's any sort of way of like giving them the time or delay or something. Oh, look at that. Misaligned is actually uh, incredibly fast when it cuts. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're going we're gonna to have to keep doing this. You go back over that way. Good. No, no. <clears throat> How can I keep them there? How can I keep them there? You go further. You can't go further. Uh, Luna, you also need to move there. And we're just going to hope that Mad Frank gets there in time. It's just not going to happen, is it? It's just not going to happen. Everybody is a little bit off. Okay, this one, hopefully. Ah, oh, what is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you? Uh, I say people, you duplicants. What is wrong with you duplicants? Let's just get this done. They, how, do I, how do I stop them turning back instantly? There's got to be a way. How about if... <laughs> wait, wait. Below. 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 Okay, and that should then open this, right? And then we get... Is that, is that actually broken it? Have I have I actually managed to then go, all right, now you go in there. That is legit a thing I just did. Okay, all right, well, there you go, guys. Um, A little thing for you. You don't have to solve the puzzle and get the duplicates to stand on the buttons. You just flick the, uh, the orientation of them. Complete the neural process and show me what we've given her. Bam! Mr. Lion's brain is still vibrating, but they've never felt better. She's uh, acquired the beefsteak trait. Plus 10. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. Plus 10 on the strength. That is a super carrying uh, upgrade there. That's going to be cool. Is this all igneous rock? Yeah, we've got the granite here to watch out for. Granite, believe it or not, actually um, slightly thermal barriering. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a word. Thermal barriering. Everyone ever has decided they've got more important things to do than fight the shine bug. I mean, I, I get that, but it's your guys' sleep we're worried about, right? All right, new principle has been principled. <laughs> that, and that's good because we are getting to the point where the duplicates are all running around and it's getting a little bit hard to get jobs done because they're just all over the place. Now, remember, we are after a rancher or a digger. None of these are good. None of these are good. Rancher or digger. No, no. I mean, maybe, maybe we want an operator. Tidying, farming, these are not actually ranching. I'm just going to get the water. We're going to take a slow approach to getting duplicates into this base. We're only really going to take the ones that we actually need at that point in time, I think. If you disagree with this, do feel free to let me know down below, but um, that's just how I'm going to play it, I think. Ooh, ooh, I see a hint of natural gas over here. We've got a bunch of unknowns. I'm not sure whether there's a geyser underneath or something like that. We're going to have to work our way over there anyway, so eventually we will go find out. Oh, we could probably find out pretty quickly just by doing this, and then we'll be able to move someone over that way. Yeah, let's go P9. Come on, guys. Rip this down for me. Oh, we're pushing the boundary back. All right, a little bit of research has been completed. This should be for not the uh, meal prep technology. We'd already done that, but this one is for gas bridge, gas pipe, gas pump, gas vent, the gas management systems, which is going to be helpful because we're starting to get to the situations where we might actually have to start thinking about that. Maybe we could put a gas pump down the bottom and then dump all the uh, the carbon on the oxy ferns and then just pick up the oxygen from above. That sounds like quite a, quite a tasty little system there. Why aren't people coming on and doing stuff? Because we're at the end of the day, right? End of day is literally my bane of existence. I just, I just want to move on and do things, but they're like, nah. Hmm. hmm. I don't remember them fighting that shine bug, but it's not here now. I can only assume they actually died from. Yeah, there's no, nothing telling me that combat happened. I can only uh, guess they died from old age. Oh. Okay, this, this super needs fixing, but someone's going to come along and do it. And Matt and Frank has cleared this area out. Now, that's all good that we can see past there, but it's not really showing us what's going on. So let's try and push back the boundaries of knowledge. Natural gas guys are beautiful. I'm so glad we found one uh, super close. Uh, that's also going to help us with the power situation. Uh, we're going to put a nice big box around it, and then we'll put a pump in the corner, and we'll take that off to a natural gas generator, which, of course, is uh, pretty far down the power line somewhere. Natural gas generator there we go in the fossil fuels that's actually beyond beyond the uh the the uh, science cap that's what i'm trying to the, the cut the, the wall <laughs> 
So we essentially have an airlock on this side. I think it's time to build ourselves another airlock on this side, or at least prepare for the situation of doing so, because we are off and trying to explore. Already we have found the natural gas geyser over here. Unfortunately, not the technology to take over it, uh, to make full use of it, but we can definitely keep pushing on and seeing what else we can find, because you never know. I'm not sure what else we would want to find, but there's bound to be a lot of other things out here. Oh, look, this actually lines up pretty well with the edge of my base here. If I was to take a tile and go down this way, yeah, that's nice. This is now part of my base. Just want to point out how solid a job Luna's got uh, got going here, going around picking up all the uh, the detritus on the floor and picking stuff up. Of course, as soon as some meal lights are ready, she's going to come along and do a super high priority job of, uh, of, of harvesting. That then goes up to the microbe musher where we make some meal lights and everybody is happy. Even though we've got all that excellent fruit left, we should probably maybe not have it turning over uh, completely, but we'll, we'll see. We don't need... What are you doing here? We don't even have a cook at the moment. What is this guy doing? All right, we don't have a cook at the moment, but we will try and make use of that at some point. Shine bugs and such forth, keeping my whole place looking beautifully. Ah, oh, no, uh, no, this isn't done yet. I'm still waiting for this to get done so I can finish the uh, wall line. Okay, so the next question stands. What do we want to do about this water? I could easily just poke a hole through the side here. Let's actually cancel this one here. Uh, do we want to pump it out and then have a bottle emptier over here? Or is this also a terrible place to keep water? I think it might be, to be fair. Uh, how about if we do this? I've got a feeling that's going to backfire in my face pretty badly at some point. Uh, P8, can we get these down a little bit? Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks, thanks. This is already going to leak some water out, but hopefully we can get this done fast enough. Actually, let's cancel those. We know what we're doing here, right? With all that going around and doing so, if he can dig over the top, we can then put two uh, two tiles there and make ourselves nice and safe, right? That That's kind of what I want to do, is make ourselves safe from water spillage so that we don't have to worry about water spilling everywhere. Like, that would be really nice, right? Okay, so we got ourselves another water source up there. I've put down a few tiles down here because I want to keep this as a throughput on the entire map if I can. I want to be able to be able to go all the way from one side of the map to the other just through this little runway here. Uh, I don't know how well that's actually going to work out for us, but we can all live in hope. What is this over here? Unreachable, um, super hard dig. What is this? Obsidian? Abyssalite. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy not to be able to dig through Abyssalite. That's uh, quite a high level tech there. Uh, hopefully, though, we'll be able to pull this across and see more of the map because, like, it's it's all about that big explore today, guys. It's all about that big explore. Ah, new research complete. Power management. Uh, sorry, pressure management. Airflow tiles, gas valves, etc. Like that. Beautiful. I want to go in here. I want the airflow tiles. I want one of those. One of those. Uh, we, we would totally replace that if that was a thing that could be replaced, but it turns out we just need to put it down for the first time. Uh, we definitely need to go around and replace some of these doors with pressure doors. Yeah, all in all, looking pretty good, but it'd be nice if we could keep the pressure inside the, the base, right? Even though we can't take advantage of it right now, I'm just preparing the, uh, the area around uh, this natural gas geyser. I know exactly what I need, so... Oh, look, there's ethanol here as well. I really, I don't know what ethanol does. Let's take a moment to have a read. Look, you can freeze it, and then you can also put it into a gas. It's an advanced chemical compound. It can be used as a highly efficient fuel source when burned. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's not something to uh, feed my duplicates full of then. That's a, it's a little bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping that I could use the ethanol around the map with, I don't know, some sort of cocktail maker. Uh, maybe like a high level co uh, comfort item. Uh, you mix it with the pinch of pepper and make a cocktail of some description. That'd be... Uh... Guys, we found some algae. Guys, there's some algae here. Oh, the map has changed for me. I mean, to be fair, we knew that it would exist in this biome if we like thought ahead. But, oh, this is so good. So good. That's weird. Bleachstone is yellow in this biome here. I'm used to it being sort of like greeny pink. Uh, all right, something to keep an eye out. Oh, no, guys. Oh, we got a problem. Look, the latrine's broken. Uh, we can fix it really quickly just by doing that, though. Poor Forrest. The guy always seems to be the guy that has to come around and fix the toilets. So, I mean, like, who else is going to do it? But, you know, anybody else could do it, right? So I was just about to hit the plumbing and then sanitation line, and then I remembered how little water we have on this map. So I think I'm going to skip over that one for now and maybe go straight to the advanced research because with the finding of that natural gas geyser, obviously one of the things I want to do is is get that fossil fuel research underway and I'm not going to be able to do that without the advanced research but I wonder if there's anything else that I want to kind of shortcut to given the difficulty of this particular map 
Uh, no, I don't think there is actually anything I want to jump to straight away, but we are definitely going to have to think long and hard about this. I'm, I'm not sure about game plan going forward from here, guys. This is a very, very different game style that I'm playing here, and I'm not sure how well it's going to go, but, you know, I don't think we're going to die anytime soon, as long as I can keep my guys fed. Oh yeah, and ranching, of course. This grooming station in particular is what I'm after, so that's another reason why I want the higher level technology. Ah, uh, so much ethanol, not much water. I mean, I'm sure everyone's going to be happy, but we're not going to last very long. Oh, it's a new biome. What have we got over here? We got salt, sedimentary rock, bleach stone, granite. It looks like a variation on this hydrogen and bleach stone, uh, the hydrogen and chlorine biome, but just a little bit more hydrogen and salt, right? Yeah, looks like it. I don't know if we're going to find anything special in here, but I would like to continue digging on the problem, of course water would see is this abyssalite I, I can't i can't look i don't have anyone high enough level to dig it so whilst the duplicates are going out and trying to explore as far as they can i am noticing that we get like quite a few oxalite patches and uh things like that around look there's another one up here one in there one there i assume the aluminium ore is because we had the metal rich modifier on our world but the oxalite i wasn't really expecting that i'm wondering if there's more out in the deep biomes or whether it's just this starter biome but anyway if anything goes completely wrong the thing what we can do is just crack into these big open areas here like oh, we've already done with that one to help push all the gases out I, i'm hoping actually that this blue is actually from our uh, oxy ferns rather than these guys just increasing the pressure but that might actually be what's going on and we're slowly dying i don't know look at this this tells us we're dying he deva wait wait wait, wait. I j he just ate a, a thing a millwood seed i didn't know uh sub subsist on branches no they're known to bury seeds but they, they just ate a seed he literally ate it look he's not carrying it not impressed not impressed so what we need to do to counteract that is to get a storage bin ah my game just threw away uh let's try that again uh we we'll get a, a storage bin put it there i'm gonna put it into a high tech uh, a high level of priority because i would then like to make it just for seeds all right, storage, build, storage bin has been built. I'm going to put all the seeds there, and hopefully Luna will now go along and pick up all the seeds and put them into here. I'm sure if I make this a high priority, then everybody will go along and do that. I, I don't think I want that, actually. Let's put this as a six, and hopefully that will then uh, work out well for Luna to come down. Yeah, look, here we go. All right, that's good. All the seeds are now being scurried away from this little guy, but I think he can actually go in there and grab it, can't he? That's not going to be great. Research complete. That's the water cooler. Not that I'm actually going to use that at any point now. Like The only time I ever put the water cooler anywhere is like here. But water is expensive right now. Water is precious. So that's not what we're going to do. And the ethanol keeps throwing me off. I keep thinking there's more just, just there. Okay, exploration is pushing on to the left here. We appear to have a bit of salt water. I'm all about that. That means there's water. Oh, look at all this algae here as well. Might actually be able to get onto some sort of like standard level gameplay when it comes to getting our oxygen here. Just like Misaline not using her gun to dig with. That's brilliant. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today we went around, we have pushed back our boundaries left and right. We found ourselves a natural gas geyser, another source of water. And we're trying to figure out what's going on up there. Next time, I hope I can touch the surface, touch the bottom, touch the two sides. And maybe get that grooming station underway that we were talking about. Because it's time, seriously, to get some ranching on. I need to get, get control of these critters that are running around my base and causing havoc. But the food is going well in all and we've got our oxygen sorted so i'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye